Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical. This is your Aim Point Tip Tuesday. Let's talk about the importance of grip on a pistol. So first and foremost, I think it's important we understand how we're establishing a grip on our pistol. So what I'm looking to do is, for my firing hand, I want the web of the hand as high as I can up on that beaver tail. Or my fingers are gonna wrap around the frame of the pistol and my index finger is just gonna rest along the side. From here, what I'm looking at is the meaty portion of my palm making contact as high as I can up on the frame of the pistol with my index finger making contact with the trigger guard of that pistol. To me, I put a little bit of pressure here on the frame of the pistol just because I'm running my aim point acro on there. And you notice my firing thumb is off a little bit to the side because if I lay it flat down, I run the potential of possibly putting it on that slide release and that slide will never catch back on that last round. The other part to look at, if you notice my hands, I'm clamshelled back here. I don't have a gap to have this pistol flip more. This hand is in a position where it's locked in firmly. So I'm in essence forming a grip with this pistol. And you'll notice, at least with my support hand, I'll slightly cant that wrist forward to help me lock that pistol in. As far as when it comes to pressure, on your pistol, I wanna grip more with obviously my support hand than I do my firing hand. You're gonna to have to figure out what that magic number formula is. I don't have one for you. I just know I wanna crank down more with that support hand than I do my firing hand. That way, my trigger finger can move independently when I'm sitting there trying to manipulate my firearm. Grip to me is a very important fundamental of your marksmanship. You need to go out there and practice it make sure we're engulfing as much of the frame of that pistol as you can to mitigate your recoil as you're firing from shot to shot. This is your Warhog Aim Point Tip Tuesday. You guys train hard, stay safe, work on your grip, and we'll see you on the range.